Yeah, here's a picture of me uh, at age uh, six. So that would have been 1949. And I was, uh, that was uh, uh, taken from the picture of me at uh, Sir Charles Tupper School. Um, so the way life unfolded for me is my dad turned me over to the Children's Aid in 1947. And the records that I got from the Children's Aid indicated that my first foster parents were uh, uh, part of the Smelser family or part of my mother's family. And uh, they lived in uh, West Dover. And, uh, but what happened is I ended up getting uh, an infection in my foot and they took me into, they had to take me into the uh, hospital in Halifax. <coughs> and uh, so uh, they, at that particular time, <coughs> decided that it was going to be impossible for them to take care of me so the the hospital got in touch with the children's aid and said that it would be probably important that he be close to Halifax so the children's aid was able to find uh, a lady on uh, Quarry Road uh, that uh, was prepared to take me and I think this lady took me for two reasons one because there was some funding that would come from the children's aid uh, for taking care of me and also there she had a son and uh, she wanted uh, somebody uh, to be able to uh, play with her son and her husband uh, was was not there uh, anyway uh, she rather she really didn't treat me that well she uh, at some point, they would uh, were getting an, either an addition or an improvement to the house, and they would bring these blueprints out on the table, and they would make comments like, "Oh yeah, we're going to have all this work done, and you're not going to be here." Um, anyway, as the, the that construction was being done, they actually uh, finished the bathroom. And what they used to do is lock me in the bathroom. They'd go out in the backyard with a rake, and they would uh, rake the uh, rake across the uh, window or the side of the the uh, bathroom wall, and really scare the hell out of me. Uh, also, they scared the, me because uh, I believe they were holy rollers, and anyway, they just uh, uh, inundated me with Satan. As far as I was concerned, Satan was everywhere. So, anyway, the next thing I remember is a black car drives up from the, the ladies from the Children's Aid, puts me in the back seat. I look out the back window. I see uh, her and her son standing on the porch, and I'm driving down Quarry Road. And my next location was with Mrs. Morris on Oak Street, 29 Oak Street. Uh, Mrs. Morris was uh, just a fantastic lady. Uh, as I mentioned before, she had five daughters. I think at that time, uh, this would have been 1949. She, um, none of the most of the daughters were now married, and there was only one daughter home. But uh, I'll go into that in more detail. Anyway, Mrs. Morris and I had a great time together. Lots of fun. Uh, lots of different experiences, which I'll go into in, a, in another uh, photo. So that's it for now. hope you enjoy this uh, story. It's sort of the way I uh, imagine the beginning. <laughs>